what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to the notorious gang called the San Diego Police Department, ex-Major League Baseball pitcher Esteban Loaiza was arrested on Friday with 44 pounds of cocaine. That's 20 kilos, y'all. He's sitting in jail on a $200,000 bond. Loaiza was charged with possessing and transporting narcotics for sale, according to sheriff's records, which indicate he had more than 20 kilos, which translates to more than 44 pounds and has a street value of $500,000. He's due in court on Wednesday, according to TMZ. TMZ is everywhere. Authorities found what they allege is a sophisticated aftermarket component used to conceal contraband in Loiza's car during a minor traffic stop. From there, they got a warrant to search Loiza's house and found the alleged cocaine. The San Diego Tribune, meanwhile, is reporting that Loiza was spotted by the border crime suppression team driving away from a house it believed was part of a smuggling operation. This guy, Esteban Loaiza, pitched in the major leagues for 14 seasons and made over $43 million and still ended up back in the streets running drugs. How does that happen? This reminds me of something that Big Meech said. Big Meech said that, you know, a lot of these guys who are in the entertainment industry they want that life, you know, they, 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 they like, they get excited about the drug dealing life, you know, and, you know, they just want that look. They like what it feel like, the power and all of the prestige, the cars, the women and all that type of stuff. Now, dude had all of that already, so, but he was still pulled into that street life. This can happen. There are some people who will do something legitimate like and just to build their money up so that they can use that money and do something that's illegal. They take that clean money and dirty it up. Uh, I get it. Been there, done that, wouldn't advise it. If you can get up out of that, man, you want to get out that lifestyle as fast as you can. I guess I feel more safer now that they've apprehended Louisa. Um, less drugs on the streets. Uh, less chance of me getting shot because he's locked up. I guess he won't shoot me. Y'all know that's a bunch of BS, right? Legalize it, man. Somebody want to buy it. Somebody selling it. Grown folks. Nah, I used to think like that. I don't think like that anymore. Because the repercussions of drug use, especially when you start talking about stuff that's addictive like crack cocaine and opiates, and so, it, it destroys families. It, it, it does too much damage to families. And it's one thing if it damaged just that grown person that's using it, or selling it, but these people have children. And when the father or mother is locked away because of selling drugs, or the person who is a user becomes an absentee parent or an abusive parent, it, you know, it's just, it just wreaks havoc, havoc on the children. Also, you got mothers who use these drugs and the kids are born with these all of these issues because of that mother using drugs. It's, it's just too much, man. So uh, I'm, I'm not a proponent of it, but I know that the government are hypocrites because they're the ones who allow it to come in. They put it on the streets and they're padding their pockets and they're getting paid and they're locking up the little guy. Now I know you're thinking like, man, if he moving that kind of weight, he ain't too little, and you're right. But in the grand scheme of things, 
Oh, he's a peon. 20 kilos ain't nothing compared to what some of these guys out here getting. Some of them are your local politicians. 44 pounds. That's a lot of jail time. $200,000 seems pretty low for someone who can afford 44 pounds of coke. When I hear things like that, my antennas go up. And I start thinking, inside job, you know, somebody got connections, you know, the judge, uh, you know, some, some important officials, uh, somebody's getting paid or somebody's snitching. Maybe it was for personal use. It's an outside chance. If indeed they caught him with 44 pounds of coke, that could have been for personal use. Maybe it was for a coke party. I know that was a big thing back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, so maybe it was for personal use. And uh, yeah, personal use because he did play for the Yankees and the White Sox. So anybody who played for those two teams, they're huge rivals. So you probably would need some type of mind-altering drug to just to cope. Repeat after me. If you are out here doing any type of thing whatsoever and you have something in your car that might incriminate you, repeat after me. I do not consent to searches. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?